Please welcome this week's special celebrity guest, Patty Boulay. <laughs> So, Victoria, what is Patty to you? This is Patty. When she starred in a pantomime of Aladdin, I was in the same production. <laughs> right. Naga, how do you know Patty? This is Patty. When we appeared on the Pointless Celebrities Christmas special, we both failed to identify someone from a picture who's in this room. <laughs> oh, right. And David, finally, what's your relationship with Patty? This is Patty. At a Christmas concert, she handed me a mince pie to cure my rumbly tummy that was ruining Silent Night. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we have it. Lee, where will you begin? So, Victoria, when was this? Sometime in the 90s. But you weren't an actress, were you? No, well, it was a non-speaking role. Oh, what that... was the role? I was the lion. Oh, you're in a costume? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where the lion yeah. features in that classic story of Aladdin. Well, <laughs> as I say, it wasn't a big role, and I'll be honest, I was only in it one time. What happened was, I was telling a friend of mine that I had never seen a panto before, and she worked at a newspaper, and she said, oh, I can probably get you some free tickets to that. And uh, I said, great. And then she rang me back the next day and said, better still, you can be in it. <laughs> you see, it was a promotional stunt. There's a lion that is in the show every night and it's in a costume and it was, oh, my goodness, a lion. Ah! Well, oh, my goodness, a lion. What's that doing in Aladdin? <laughs> <laughs> and who was Patty playing in this? B Patty was, of course... Of course like, she was Miss Aladdin. Miss Boulay, I should say, was the principal boy. Who else was in it? What other names? I'm glad you asked me that question. Dennis Waterman. <laughs> and Barry from <laughs> Heidi High. He was the dame. Right. So, was there a regular line that you replaced? <laughs> yeah, I think there was always a line in it. That... Played by the same person every night? Well, I don't know. I was only there one time. Did you not I never... ask if you're putting someone out of a job? <laughs> it was all a bit of a blur. Dennis Waterman sang the minor theme tune. Barry from Heidi High said, I'm off to Burger King, mine's a Whopper. And then there was a bit... <laughs> I think you're telling the truth, cos I knew Barry and he was a Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to quiz next, Lee? Uh, Nugget, could you tell me how you know Patty... That's Patty Boulay! <laughs> could you tell me how you know Patty Boulay? We appeared on a pointless... Celebrities oh, yes. Christmas special and one of the rounds involved identifying people right and one of the pictures was of someone on this stage right were you and we failed to identify them correctly well tell what, don't tell us who it was tell us what the question was is that how it works or pointless you had a picture screen yeah. that you looked at and there were something like um, nine pictures yeah and they were all of famous northerners <laughs> <laughs> David, David, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so it's me? Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I think from memory, you can't get help off Patty. No, but in the celebrity one, you can. Everyone She's... whispers. You can get help off Patty? So even Patty doesn't know who I am? <laughs> When you walked on, I went, where is Patty Boulay? <laughs> oh, it's Patty Boulay! <laughs> and you didn't recognise this! Lee, sit down. <laughs> right, you know before when I said, oh, my God, it's Patty Boulay, I, I don't want that in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want you to use this instead. <laughs> Who's that woman stood up? <laughs> Who did you think Lee was, then, when you made the guess? <laughs> if you say Brad Pitt, I'll forgive you. Jimmy Nail. Jimmy <laughs> 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 oh, I, I don't think we need to ask 
David about his. <laughs> this is one of the best shows we've ever done. <laughs> Here's a question. Had it been a picture of Rob, if, it was a, if the category was Welsh people, would you have recognised Rob? Of course. <laughs> You've done Pointless, haven't you? Yeah. So, with Pointless, you have to get the least... If it was the least recognisable yeah. person... So you, you'd you, get you, you fewer had to go at least. You'd, <laughs> you'd get fewer points. Well, well I mean, it, it sounds like a very good idea. strategy. So no, I, I would have gone for him as well, actually. <laughs> what I love most about this is, even if it's a lie, she mm. still says she thinks you look like Jimmy Nair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That's the worst bit. No. <laughs> We, we've, we've managed to find uh, a picture of Jimmy now. Now, they're, they're... <laughs> well, yeah, look at that, yes! <laughs> Can we put that next to Lee? <laughs> well, well, well. All right, are you happy to move on to David? David, remind me, please. Well, Patty handed me a mince pie at a Christmas concert because my rumbly tummy was making a noise over Silent Night. <laughs> was ruining it. <laughs> uh, uh, was Patty on stage singing? No. Where was she? She was next to me, listening to the concert, holding a mince pie. Where was <laughs> this, David? <laughs> it was at the Royal Albert Hall. Oh, right. lovely. I don't care about any other question than the one I'm going to ask. OK. Did she recognise you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I don't know. She, she seemed to. Uh -huh. So, it... no. Yes. <laughs> Is there any significance about the word silent from the silent night to the rumbling noise in your tummy? I, I think there is significance there, yes. I think that the rumble... Because Silent Night, obviously, it's, it's horrendously mistitled. What they, they should say, Quiet Night, because it is obviously audible and it wouldn't be the successful carol it is if it were entirely silent. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, it's one of the quieter ones and the noise my stomach was making would have been less of a problem during, say, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> so what? Pe people often are. <laughs> Did you say you were near the front? No, you didn't. I didn't say that. We were yeah. in a box. Oh. What was the occasion? It was like a, a BBC hospitality thing. Your stomach was that loud that it was audible for... It was actually ruining the performance. I don't Patrick. think it was audible throughout the hall. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of noises was it making? Because stomachs make yeah. a variety. It could be a gurgle, it could be a whine, it could be all sorts of things. Just recreate for us using <laughs> using that versatile tool of yours. Um, oh, oh, no, I don't... <laughs> I, don't use my, I thought I'd use my mouth, but OK. Just um, recreate for us the sort of sounds that Patty would have heard. I think there was sort of... <laughs> and Patty heard this... Yeah. And proffered a mince pie. Yeah. Was she sat behind you or in front of you? Uh, no. <laughs> was she sat to the side of you? That's it. <laughs> right so, next to me. She was right next to there. you. Didn't I ask earlier if she was next to you and you said no? If I did, I was lying. OK. <laughs> right, we need an answer. So, Lee's team, is Patty Victoria's panto pal, Naga's pointless partner or David's pie provider? Let's take them individually, shall we? Right. So, Victoria. We like her. Well, we like her, but... <laughs> we're not, we, can't, we can't just judge you by who we like. I'm just a bit worried, cos she's been standing there a long time. Yeah. She's liable to fall over. Well, what the audience don't realise is you're stood there, don't forget. <laughs> What do you think about Naga not recognising me on Pointless? I can understand that. <laughs> I wasn't sure until the Jimmy Nail comparison. And then you and thought... Then I was like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... I mean... I, I thought she nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> then there's David. <laughs> That's a very woolly story. <laughs> well, it's a lovely woolly time of year, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> so, who, who do you think is telling the truth here, Melvin? I think it's a very difficult game. I didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it to the public vote. <laughs> I think it's... I think Naga. <laughs> uh, I think 
think there's an obvious explanation, and that is that Naga knows who I am, but she forgot her glasses. So let's go with that. <laughs> it's Naga looking at a picture of you. Thinking I'm Jimmy <laughs> Nail. <laughs> OK. Patty, would you please reveal your true identity? Well, I'm Patty, and... the lovely Victoria was in the same pantomime <laughs> as me. Yes, Patty is Victoria's panto pal. Thank you very much, Patty Boulay.